Thought we power washed that. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Well, we're back. And the easy go got tore apart a little bit with me and Sean. Me and Sean tore it apart a little bit. I didn't record, I apologize, but you didn't miss much. We took the body off of it and I realized that it needs more power washing. We got the roof off of it and we got the body off. That's where it got so far. Tomorrow we're gonna power wash this thing up again. We're gonna start cleaning up and get it ready to put the motor and the controller back in. The controller and the wiring's right here, as you see. So we'll go through that together and we'll go through Slapping the motor back in and testing the ohms and stuff like this to make sure it's good. Hopefully this thing runs. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. We're going to clean it with a power washer, get it running, make sure it moves before I spend any money on hopping this thing up because we got to sell her when we're done. This one's for going to be for sale. Unless I sell decent. Maybe I'll sell decent instead and keep this one. Hey Jamie, might have to go see J&J &J and see how much he wants to paint the body on this one. What do you think, Jamie? Leave your comments down below or give me a text. Why wouldn't you? Let me know. This all comes off. It's not as hard as decent. This comes off and it's plastic. It's not fiberglass. And uh, that's already off. Yeah, there it is. I just want to paint the inside, just the outside, Jim. We'll have to see. I don't know. Maybe I'll just spray bomb myself. Who knows? I'll have to play that one by ear. I'm going to go have something to eat. Do this, that, and the other thing. And you might not see me until tomorrow. But if you don't, if you see me tonight, you'll know. But it'll probably be tomorrow. So... Here it is, my 36 volt reconditioned electric motor for the golf cart. Now I gotta find the freaking screws and stuff to put it back together. Oh boy, this should be fun. And I'm pretty sure it needs a gasket as well on the rear end. Oh, that's heavy. I don't wanna carry that around too much. We should clean up that first of all, cause it's pretty dirty. I forgot my heat transfer goop for the controller. Because you want to put some heat transfer goop on that where the controller sits. So that's going to go on there. So we got our motor, we got our controller, and we got some extra batteries from the old uh, Safari van out back. But I'm going to make a gasket up for this. I'm pretty sure there wasn't one on it, but I might make one up anyways. I'm not too sure yet. But let's get out the machine the wheel here, and we'll clean this up first of all. And you can watch that happen, because I'll show you how I do that kind of stuff. Which is the same way you do it, which is with a wire wheel. Now, it doesn't look like there's a gasket on there. Nice. That's working well, but my battery's going dead. Let's try this one, Captain. There you go. So now that we've done that, that's good to go. Now the next thing we need to do is find the bullets that fit in here. I don't know how deep it went. I don't remember much, but I know for sure that I probably don't have them. I'm just saying. If I do have them, I don't know what I did with them. Well, there's one. That'll work. We have four of them. Shouldn't say it'll work. It might work. Depending on how many we have. There's another one right there. Aw, oh, decent. Don't ask me what I did with them bolts. Like I said, this thing's been part for so long now. But who friggin' really knows what happened? No idea. How far into these go? That's it. Then there would be too long. That there might be okay. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I just cocked over this whole situation. Man, oh man. That might be it. No, it's got too much play in it. No good. I wanna make sure they're the right ones because you don't wanna strip the fucking thing over and then you're cocked over. Then you'll be saying, aw, oh, dick. Well, that's a bummer. You know what, if I put these on, I might be able to get away with a few extra uh, wash oars because I got four of them. So I'm gonna say let's go with that. So let's get this motor on. And then we'll put a lock washer or two on them and see exactly how far in we can get one. What do you think? Careful. Maybe we'll put a little bit of caulk around here 
just to make sure it seals up good. Or maybe we'll just flip this upside down and make a gasket. Let's do that. I think it's a great idea. So now what we're gonna need is a little piece of paper. Actually, it says not to use a gasket. I don't want dirt and water in my motor, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gasket goop around it, and that way she'll seal up. Careful, how's her head, Jim? So let's put a little tiny bead. Nothing major, just a little one. Just enough to keep the water out of her, if you know what I'm saying. Just like that. So now we'll take a glove, and we'll give her a little spear action. Hey, leave your comments down below. Let me know what color you think I should paint this golf cart. There we go. Decent. All right, so now that we got a thin, nice bead on there, let's slap her in a hole over here. See if we can't line her up the first shot. Look at that, Captain. All right, let's just see how far off we are. Okay, I'm gonna go with another two washers to be safe. Cause like I say, we don't want to bottom her out, Captain. So three, two small and one big. Maybe one of them there lock washers. Leave a comment down below if you think you need one of them there lock washers. I got one of them there lock washers too, I do. So let's take one washer off and we'll go with the lock washer. Terrible. Yeah, it doesn't matter which way it goes, only three will hold it in. What's really going on? So there you go. So we'll snug them up and we'll bring that motor up and into the groove. The shaft holds all the weight anyway, so we're good that way. Good, decent, and good, decent. Does it move? That feels nice, Jim. There we go, motor's on. Yeah. Now, we just got to uh, figure out what's what on the doodad. So as you know, this controller goes in here like this, as I showed you. So this controller goes like this, and then we got two that go on here, and two of these, I had it all labeled as you can tell, but as you know, the label's gone completely. Not even a trace of anything here. Oh man. So these two go on F1, so F1 is white. Let's, what's F1 here, let me see. A1 goes to F1 and F1 goes to A1 and two and four and five and six go to five and eight. So yeah, so this is A2, this is A2, A2, goes to S1, S4, 2 goes to 6P, and D and E go to F6. So this one is A1. So A1 goes to A1, is what I'm thinking. So A1 goes here, like that. Oh, dick. So you watch it? Probably not. Then we got A2, which is this one over here. One's forward, one's reverse. Right? Oh, shit, watch out, don't hit decent. Oh, decent. And then these two, must go to here and here. But we're gonna check in a minute here. Cause I don't remember. I don't wanna blow her up, Jim. I don't wanna blow her up, Captain. What do I do with my nut? Did I lose my nut too? Freaking already lost my nut. Oh, dick. Losing everything. Where the hell is my damn nut boy? You just took the thing off. You know where it is, don't you? You just won't tell me. You see me put it down. Freak, just tell me where I put it. Fine, don't then, I'll just put a new one on. Let's see how it is, that's the wrong size. Fine then, don't tell me I'll put a new one on. That's the wrong size. Fine then, don't tell me I'll put a new one on. That's the wrong size. Frick! That there's the wrong size too. What in the f did I do with that nut? Did I drop it as well? Really? Why wouldn't it? Unbelievable. Just cocked right over. How do we take a nut off and lose it that fast? How is that even possible? Leave your comments down below if you have the same luck as me. That's probably it right there. There it is. Maybe. I don't know. It sure feels like it. Maybe. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my shit. No. No. Maybe. There it is. Thank god I have extra nuts laying around. So that's that and that's that. And now we just gotta figure out what this is. I'm pretty sure that this is F1 and F2. But we're gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause here because we do not want to screw this up. So I'm gonna do some research on this cart because it's been, like I said, over a year. We'll get it all wired up. We'll slap a couple batteries in it. We'll make sure it works. I gotta weld a new battery box in, but that's to come. Let me get my wiring straightened out and figured out before I hook it up and blow it up. And we'll do that together. I won't do it without you, but I just wanna make sure they go where they go. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we get this thing hopefully moving. And then we can take everything back out and paint it. And I'm gonna help me pick a color for the body because we're gonna paint the body. Maybe get some rings for it. 
and then it's gonna go on the market for sale. So leave comments down below, let me know what color you think I should go, and we'll have to go from there. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and until next time, you know what to do for now.